what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Um, a lot of people have been asking for a Blu-ray update and um, before we get started on this one, I'm just going to say I've started to do these every three to four weeks now, um, maybe sometimes two, just quarrelly for the fact that I think in a Blu-ray update you should have watched everything you're going to talk about because I think it's kind of boring just watching someone say, you know, I've got this and that's it, you know, because the video's over within three, four minutes. Um, and I want to make these kind of cooler, um, so I'm going to watch everything before I put them into an update. So it may be, you know, two, three, four weeks um, before I do another one. Um, but that's not because I don't want to do videos, it's just I want to watch everything before I start talking about them. Now there is stuff in here I haven't watched or watched fully yet. Uh, that's just because I've got a lot of stuff from Boxing Day and stuff to watch still as well. Um, but I kind of wanted to make a video for an update because people have been asking. Uh, so you guys, let's get straight into this. Alright guys, so I've got a great stack of titles here to talk about. Uh, so the first one we have, I actually got for free off my uncle. Um, he bought the Blu-ray box set for 60 quid and it was something I'd never seen before and I was like, you know, show me a bit of it and I was like, tell you what, I'll give you the DVD of the first three episodes and it'll be like a taster for you and it is Star Trek, the original series I've never seen this, um, I've seen, well, I've seen clips um, but it's not, it's never made sense because I don't know who anyone is or what they're doing or where they are um, so, this, yeah, this is the first three episodes um, he said he picked this up in the pound shop a long, long time ago um, so, as I said, it does have the first three episodes. Uh, the first episode is Where No Man Has Gone Before. The uh, second one is the Carbonite, Carbonite Maneuver. Yeah. And then we've got Mud Swimming is the third one. So yeah, I've never seen this one. This is the only one in my update I haven't actually seen yet. Um, or, like, fully of. Um, but yeah, this isn't remastered either, so it's, you know, the original cut kind of quality. Um, but yeah, can't wait to watch that one. Um, I'll probably just watch that one night if I'm bored. Um, the next one, this was in my Mystery Amazon unboxing. Uh, it's the first season of Rawhide. Now, I've only actually watched the first episode of this. Um, each episode is about 49, 50 minutes long. Uh, and the whole set is like 18 hours plus. And uh, yeah, it's got Clint Eastwood in it, uh, who is just like a cowboy. And um, yeah, it's just a, a western series really. Uh, I don't know too much more about it, just because I've only watched the first episode. Um, the first episode was really, really good. Uh, pretty much they stumble across a prison wagon, and the prisoners try to escape, and one of them gets shot, the deputies get shot, and they're having to, this, the group of uh, cowboys are having to take them to the nearest town or city um, in the prison wagon, and stuff happens along the way and stuff. It's really, really good. Uh, I'd highly recommend watching it. Um, I got this off of Amazon for 11 99 uh, they just started putting these seasons out of Rawhide and uh, yeah I thought to myself I love westerns, I love you know TV shows, I need to get more TV shows in my collection so it was a no brainer and um, yeah so far I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'll show you inside so you get the first two discs here uh, and then you get the rest of the discs here so it is a six, a six disc set. Um, so, yeah, I cannot wait to watch this one, or the rest of this anyway. Uh, and this actually also has um, bonus series 2 episode, uh, Incident of the Roman Candles, uh, and episode synopsis. Um, special features, you have 1992 Best Director and Best Picture, uh, Unforgiven 2004, uh, Best Director and Best Picture, Million Dollar Baby. So, I'm not sure what those are. I know Million Dollar Baby is actually a movie and, and Unforgiven. But I don't know if it's like a movie or if it's a, a series or something, I don't know. But yeah, so Rawhide Season 1. And it just dropped. Uh, next one, um, I got two Bond movies in the 2 for 10 deal. Again, if you saw my Amazon unboxing, you would have known I got these. So the first one I got is The World Is Not Enough with uh, Pierce Bronson. I've watched a lot of Pier uh, a lot of uh, Bond movies, as you can see. I've got, you know, a few now. Um, I've got about two more that are still sealed that I need to watch from Boxing Day. Um, but yeah, World's Not Enough. I personally think uh, Pierce Bronson is the best Bond, uh, or my favourite anyway. Um, I just think his movies, when he does Bond, are so much action-packed. They're more faster pace. In my opinion, better characters as well. Like I love the Bond girls in these ones. I love the villains. I love the car he has. 
This has probably got the best Bond car in my opinion, the BMW. I love that car. Too bad it got uh, flattened, uh, not flattened, like cut in half. If you've seen the movie, you'll know why. Um, but yeah, really, really good movie. Again, I loved the enemies in this. There was a lot of twists in this as well. Uh, I loved M in this one. I think she appears in the Pierce Bronson ones a lot more, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so really, really good. Uh, the PQ on this was awesome as well. Um, and again, just awesome. I loved the weapons. Uh, there was like P90s and stuff in this one. Um, so yeah, a really, really good one. Uh, this is the new cover one as well. Uh, I really don't like the, the old ones, like I've got old ones, um, like the old covers off of eBay. I really don't like them though, I think the new ones look a lot, lot better. Um, but yeah, this has got 9 hours of special features. Uh, I'll quickly go through some of them. Uh, you get a couple audio audio commentaries, um, you get the making of, um, you get Mission Control, uh, Ministry of Propaganda trailer, uh, you get, try to see, uh, Declassified, M MI6 Vault, James Bond, Down River, uh, Original 1999 featurette, uh, Create an Icon, uh, Making the Teaser Trailer, so it's like a documentary about how they made the trailer. So overall, really, really good release for this one. Um, so, yep, that is The World's Not Enough. Definitely go and watch that one. Uh, the next one, and our Pierce Bronson one, which is now a complete Bond's Pierce Bronson collection. Um, this one I personally thought was a bit, bit better, and it is Tomorrow Never Dies um, with Pierce Bronson. Really, really good movie. Uh, when I ordered this, my uncle was there, and he was like, it's the best opening scene to a Bond movie, and it really, really does. Um, pretty much, it's shit blowing up. Um, um, there's like, he's undercover um, with an um, uh, arms dealer, and pretty much it's like a big nuke. The Navy um, is going to put a nuke in it. I don't know if it's a nuke, but like a big, big bomb uh, director there. And he's still there and they're trying to get him out and all that. And um, basically it takes a plane that's got like big missiles and he has like a big plane fight. It's awesome. Shit blows up in the first 10 minutes. Really, really good. Um, I love this uh, woman on the back. I can't, don't know if you'll be able to see that. Uh, I think that is Terry Hatcher. I'm not sure. It might be Michelle Yua. That's how you see it. Uh, either one of those. I loved her in this. If you've seen the Wolverine, you know um, the girl with the pink hair or red hair, um, which was like so badass. She reminded me of her. Like she was awesome in this. Um, there was kind of comedy in this one as well because she was, um, you know, she had her own wee gadget room and everything, and he was like really surprised, and you know, he was testing everything out, and. Altogether, she just kicked ass, you know, on the boat as well at the very end, she kicked ass. Um, so, I'd highly recommend this one. Again, great uh, villains in this one. Um, just the look of him, you could tell he was the villain. You know, he was all in black, he wore the same clothes. You know, it just looked very serious as well. Uh, and again, love the one girl in this one. Uh, so, special features on here, you get a commentary featuring uh, Roger Spottiswood and Dan Petrie. Uh, you got a commentary with Vic Armstrong and Michael Wilson. Uh, the James Bond theme, uh, reversion, uh, the secrets of the little seven storyboard presentations, uh, theatrical archives, and more. So, really, really good release again. Uh, I love how they've got loads of special features on these ones. Um, so, yep, the world is uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, possibly my favourite Bond movie. Loved it, and I loved. <laughs> I keep talking about this one. Loved, loved, loved the uh, motorbikes chasing this one. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, this one I got again, Miss Jams on Unboxing. And uh, I was watching Art and Productions uh, yesterday. Uh, he uploaded a video of like, um, his first Mail Day video. Um, and he got the trilogy of this on Steelbook. And he said that um, they were down to £7 on Sainsbury's. So I was like really mad because I just paid £10 for this one. Um, but the first one is still available on Sainsbury's, so I'm probably going to get that very soon. And it is The Dark Knight Steelbook. Um, I watched this last night. I love it even more. Right, before I bought this, I had only seen it once or twice, and that was about two years ago. And I was, I, rem I remembered most of the movie, but there were some scenes in this where I was like, holy shit, I've not seen this before. And really, I had. It's just I couldn't remember. Um, and experiencing it on you know, HD and Blu-ray is amazing as well. Uh, it really, you know, refreshed me of this movie and made me realise, you know, how actual good it is because, you know, everyone on YouTube says, oh, it's the best, you know, Batman movie. And I was just like, no, I think Dark Knight Rises is. 
but watching it again on on HD, you know, with the big surround sound system, I really do agree, it is the best. Um, you know, the Joker, you cannot beat in this one. Uh, I know people uh, prefer the original Joker, um, but still, I love Heath Ledger in this one even more. Um, so, a really nice steel look as well, you've got Heath Ledger on the back there. So yeah, really, really good movie. Uh, I, you know, I don't really need to say much, everyone's seen it. Um, so you've got the two discs there. Um, I actually upgraded this from the DVD, you know, I have uh, The Dark Knight Rises on Steelbook and Batman Begins, just the normal Blu-ray. Uh, but again, I'm going to get Batman Begins Steelbook very soon, just so I can have all the known trilogies together. Uh, sorry, all the known trilogy of Batman, you know, together on Steelbook. So, yep, The Dark Knight, really, really good, highly recommend it. So guys, that's everything I got um, for three weeks, maybe. Um, I know it's not much, but, you know, I'm kind of going a bit steelbook mad right now. I'm always looking at steelbooks. Uh, I'm actually going to get better wraps as well for the steelbooks uh, to protect them, because I've got them, but they're, you know, they're the pound shot ones, so they're very, like, big, and they don't have this, the seal thing on them. Um, so there's a seller on eBay. I think it's Steelbook Central. They're selling 50 pack for, I think it was, like, 3.95 or something. Uh, so I'm going to be ordering that today. Uh, oh, uh, order that today. Um, and it's like first class shipping which is really good so I hope you enjoyed this guys if you've got any comments about any of these titles please let me know don't be afraid and uh, you guys I'll see you guys later bye